Alright everybody, welcome to a Real Chance WoW commentary. Today, I want to go over uh, the 6.1 patch notes and uh, kind of what's going to happen to the Red Palad and what's going to be going on in the future of the class and do you want to pick it up, do you want to keep playing it, and so on. Uh, I have to say, this patch has a lot of buffs uh, to a lot of classes, so there's not a lot of negatives happening other than things that are kind of going to slip under the rug necessarily, but they, they're... they're this is the buff patch, I want to call it. There's not much nerfing going on. Uh, I know some healers are getting nerfed, but I want to speak about the Rep Paladin alone in this video. And we're getting buffed, so that's kind of all that matters in life, ever, is us getting buffed and buff and jacked and ripped because we're Paladins. But let's go over the specifics. If you guys want to look them up yourselves, you can go... I will leave a link in the description below for you, giving the patch notes from Battle.net themselves, a World of Warcraft website. By the way, the video playing over this is from my live stream. It is some 3v3 with, I believe you would call this a TSG, it's just with a Mistweaver and a Rep Alley instead of a Warrior, uh, and I think a Disc Priest or a Resto. But, it's some good matches, I think there's three or four, and they're all wins. I'm not showing a ton of matches here, but it's about 15 minutes long, so... You don't have to listen to the whole time, but I just want to go over the patch notes specifically. This is just what's going to be playing in the background, so it's not just my fives. So, let's begin. The first change that I want to go over in 6.1 for the Ret Paladin is the Empowered Seals. This is the first change on the list on the website, and uh, the for this is for protection and retribution, uh, as a matter of fact, but it's been improved, and the Righteousness buff is up to 20% from 15%. So now when you cast your Righteousness Seal and then your Judgment from that Righteousness Seal, instead of giving you 15% haste, it gives you 20% haste. And to talk about that as a buff is incredible. It means if you are running Empowered Seals as a Rep Paladin, there's less haste stacking you have to do as far as your uh, gear goes. So you can have 20% haste without even trying. And that is a great thing for a Paladin as is for any other class especially if you have as much versatility as a paladin does in regards to your hand of sacrifice your hand of freedom your hand of protection uh your heals to other party members the insta heal if you're using selfless healer and so on so there's a lot that goes into the haste not just in regards to damage for rep paladins but in regards to versatility as well the other uh buff that is buffed ironically, is the Uther's Insight, so it's the Insight uh, Judgment buff, which initially in the past, what it was is it healed the Paladin for 1% of their health every 2 seconds. So, over a 15 second time span, that would be, if my math's correct, only 7% because you're missing out on 1 second if it lasts 15 seconds, because for it to last give you 1% health every 2 seconds, It you're missing the 16th second, so you're only getting 15 seconds worth, meaning you're only technically getting 14 seconds worth, which is 7% health. And it has improved, which is something that is most requested, I think, among the Empowered Seals improvements was this Insight buff, because it seems so minuscule and so unimportant, that it almost seemed useless to use a global cooldown to cast Insight and then cast the Judgment for it. Um, but now it is up to 2% of maximum health every 3 seconds, which makes so much more sense because now you're getting, instead of, what was it, you're getting, let's see, every 2 seconds, you're getting 7, I think, 7% health. Yeah, okay, so over every 3 seconds you're getting 2% health, which means that for 15 seconds you're getting 5 charges, which adds up to, I think, 10% health. So, let's see. Let's make sure I'm, I did that math correctly. Maximum health. 2% of your maximum health every 3 seconds for 15 seconds. So, 15. Yeah, I think it's 10% of your health, which is great. Especially if you're a Drain Eye Paladin, because then you have your uh, healing ability, Gift of the Naru to use as well. If you're, say, down in health, and you have Stay of Execution, which I'm going to get to next. But that is an excellent buff to the heal. A, it makes more sense, because now you have 5 actual charges of healing. Yeah, you, so you get 2% times 5, yeah. So you get 5 charges of 2% to yourself, and that's 10%. So you're getting 10% of your health instead of 7%, and you're getting it over the same period of time. So it's 
good for us paladins. It's a, a seal that you're now going to want to cast more often, especially if you're being trained because paladins are squishy, which I'm going to get to in another video as to a stat priority that I've just realized makes sense and that everyone's shot down, but it, it's insane to me that they've shot it down because they're just not seeing the obvious. But I'm going to go over that in a whole other video. I don't want to go into that here. So that is what's going on to the Red Paladin as far as talents go um, for Empowered Seals. Moving forward, Execution Sentence is healing dealt by the Stay of Execution. So this is just the healing itself. This isn't the damage from Execution Sentence. But the healing has increased by 100%, meaning you're receiving 100% more healing from Execution Sentence. And Execution Sentence for me is something that I use for healing frequently because, again, I'm getting trained and I'm squishy. But that is something that is incredible so to have that and in addition to this insight buff it seems that they're making the rep paladin a little more self-reliable uh, at least you know you execution sentence isn't just just for rep paladins but you definitely have more self-reliance in regards to survival uh, kind of like we did in the beginning of wad where you're off heals were insane and you could top healing in a BG and damage which was awesome but they then nerfed uh, the heals and off heals from my paladins which makes sense because it was a little too much in my opinion but they nerfed it down a lot so they brought it up I think to the median and that's a good thing we're gonna see how the insight heal seal works because right now we have no idea uh, it's just like we're looking at it and we're saying, okay, we're getting 3% more health from that inside buff for 15 seconds. So the same amount of time. And it actually makes sense in regards to the way the time split up. So that's a good thing. Next we have Final Verdict is getting a quote-unquote nerf. Uh, it, the only reason it's a nerf is because the radius of the Divine Storm is increased by 50% instead of 100. So you're losing 50% range on that next Divine Storm, but that's not really a big deal. The reason we like Final Verdict as an ability is because it gives Divine Storm 100% more damage. So that's not being changed, it's just the range is being changed. I guess they felt that the 100% range was too much for some reason. I don't, I don't know, I didn't really think that made that much of a difference, but I guess it did to them and they're making it uh, they're scaling it down a little bit, which isn't a big deal, I hope, um, and down the line, I'm sure it will work out in our benefit. So, that's Final Verdict, and next we have Hand of Purity, now reduces damage taken by 15%, up from 10%. I don't know if they're trying to impose Hand of Purity onto Paladins as an ability you want to use as a ret. I don't know, I'm going to have to look at that one, because that's, uh, I don't even know if that is the talent that I'm thinking of, but it's the one that shares with Clemency, and Clemency is just too damn good. So maybe they're trying to make Purity that much better, and uh, maybe it's going to be viable as a, a talent for Rep Balance. We'll see. I'm going to make a 6.1 talent video as soon as it comes out and I get a chance to test it, but right now this is what we have. This is what we're working with. And I'm digging it. I'm digging what I'm looking at. You guys can go again, check it out yourself. If you're not a red paladin or you're not a paladin at all and you're watching this video for some reason, you can go and check out the other class changes or if you're just curious yourself to see what's going on with other classes, go ahead and check it out. There's again a lot of buffs, a lot of buffs, a lot of buffs going on um, to every other class, but it kind of, you'll see as you read through it, it, it's a little bit of canceling out each other a little bit a little bit more balance so it's good for uh, the overall pvp experience so that is the 6.1 changes guys i do appreciate you watching this video and i will be doing a stat priority video next and i'm going to do some recording today so i can commentate over that stat priority video and make it interesting for you guys now for the rest of the time you're just going to see my mouth move on the screen <laughs> because this is from my stream. If you guys are interested in following that live stream, go ahead and look in the link below. You will see that stream link. Uh, but I do have... I think this is the last game. Yeah, this is the last game that we're showing. Uh, again, this is the Road to Gladiator series, so there are some mistakes made in the arena. Like I think we missed out on a kill once or twice here. Uh, due to recovery or allowance of recovery by the other team like we let up at some point and uh, it led to this but the people I was playing with it was fun uh, playing with a frosty K and a mistweaver monk the mistweaver monk we were in Skype he just wasn't very talkative so I there were some games that are not shown here uh, but you could pop, possibly might be able to notice it here but 
there's some times where he'll get low in health, and then I'll have no idea whether or not to bomb him because of lack of communication, and some that costs us the game sometimes. So, again, I'm trying to find people I'm working well with uh, as far as the road to Gladiator itself goes. But it's working out, and the rep out in class is becoming easier and easier to play for me, myself. I don't know about other people, but using, you know, Hand of Sacrifice and Hand of Freedom and Hand of Protection in my off heels, it's a lot easier to survive for me, especially, and dealing, you know, as much damage as I can at the same time to really make the most out of the class for what it is, instead of kind of just treating it as a damage in class alone. Which a lot of people tend to do, but that's okay. I mean, you do have all these survival abilities, and you do have to make the most of it. So that's what I'm trying to do, and that's, again, I'm learning the class still. I have been playing a little bit of Warrior as well, so if you guys would like to see some Warrior gameplay, please leave your comments down below. I'm sorry for the long commentary. I'll let the music play out. You guys enjoy the rest of the video. It is just some chill step because this is supposed to be a rela lela. This is supposed to be a relaxing video, and I want you guys to enjoy it. So enjoy the rest of the game, guys. Let me know what you think below. Give me your feedback. See what I can tell me what I can do right in the game, or tell me what you think of 6.1 patch as uh, a whole, especially for the Rep Paladins. I'm interested to hear what you guys think. Obviously, we're receiving buffs to Empowered Seals, and if you guys aren't cool with Seal Shuffle, the Seal Shuffle, and you, maybe you just want to use Final Verdict, then that's okay. That's all by means. That's what you do, and there's nothing wrong with that. And it's receiving a little bit of a nerf, but nothing crazy. It's just I think the buffs, buffs from Empowered Seals is going to be incredible in the long run. Uh, depending on which comps you're going to be playing, guys. So thank you for watching the video. Be sure to continue watching the video if you want to see the rest of this gameplay right here, this game. And this is the last one. So, again, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. I will be seeing you in the next video. This has been Real Chance Wow, signing out. Love you. Bye. Stun. Or stun. Stun. I'm sensing myself. All right, we're going lock. Yeah, that's what I'm on right now. Okay, I got a fear for him. Oh, fucking Zach feared here. The, I got a fear the sh uh, shaman. He's done. Alright. Stay on lock, stay on lock, stay on lock. Yeah, he's in Lewis. I'm, I'm, Stunning oh my shaman. God. Stay on lock. Shaman's getting a stun after this. Stun. He's stunned. He doesn't have a trinket. He tried. What? How the fuck did he break? Kicking shaman. Shaman kicked. Hey, he might die. He might die. Come he might on. Die right here, right here, right here, right here. Oh my god. Oh, Damn fuck. it. Ah, uh, fuck. Stun shaman if you can. I don't have anything. But oh he's, he's gonna listen himself right now. Oh my god, he's full healed. God damn it. <laughs> fuck. It's pissing me off. Uh, Alright, let's just, let's just recoup. Yep. Alright. Uh, I got I'm stun. I'm still Stunning sticking shaman. on the lock. I'm gonna hit rogue. You stay on rock. Lock. Sorry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, so let's uh, spread out the pressure here. Alright. Rogue, uh, Rogue is chasing me. I don't wanna LOS on the other stuff, so. Alright. I got a full stun on the Shaman. He's back out. Alright. Right. Uh, as soon as he heals, sir, just, I'm gonna stay next to him. Kicking. Kick his heal. Going, going Rogue here. Go Rogue, real quick. Uh, uh you look at the little lock. Stunning Shaman. Oh, Trinketing, Stunning oh. Shaman. Going. Going back on the rogue. Yeah, going rogue, going rogue, going rogue. First thing. Oh, what the oh, hell? How's he switch, full hell? Fucking switch lock. Oh, fuck. Switch shaman, sorry. Oh, okay. Uh, well, <laughs> my bad. I sent you all the way up fucking over. The... He's immune right now to everything, so... But he's going down pretty fast. Yeah, he is. Ah, uh, my wings. They're changing. They're fucking stunning my wings. I got stunned in four seconds. Oh, my God. Stun. Oh, uh, stunning. Got him, go, go, go. No trinket. Oh, trinket. Never mind. I got a stun in a sec. Got it. Nice. Holy fuck. Uh, heal heal, up the, heal yourself. Life. Get out of there. Heal. I had bubble, thank god. That's how long <laughs> that match lasted. <laughs> yeah, dude, I was feared I had to drink it that shit. I was like, oh, be... There, fuck this dude. I'm going back on this guy. Broke. Yep. Yeah. You should die here in a minute. He's gonna die. Good shit. That was that was an earned win. That's for damn sure. That was a good good play. I made a few mistakes, but yeah. Didn't get free. Yeah, there was. We'll fix uh, that as we go. We definitely missed a kill, but that's alright.
Boy, nurse, I'm gonna get them all.